Social media is a hotbed for conspiracy theories, especially since the COVID-19 pandemic. Some theories seem plausible, while others are outright outrageous. In this video, we'll explore the psychological reasons why people believe in these theories, supported by recent research. Stick around to see if any of these findings apply to you. If you find this video interesting, please support us by hitting the like button. Now, let's get started. What is a conspiracy theory? Generally, it refers to unofficial explanations or interpretations that lack sufficient evidence or have been refuted. These often involve secret societies or powerful groups. Due to the lack of scientific evidence and objective proof, these theories are often supported by speculation and conjecture, spreading misinformation and causing social anxiety and distrust. The term, conspiracy, typically refers to actions or activities secretly planned by two or more individuals or organizations. These can exist in reality and be proven with legal evidence. Simply put, a conspiracy refers to a real, agreed-upon plan. Whereas a conspiracy theory is a belief or theory not based on such plans. Famous conspiracy theories include the belief that the moon landing was faked. That the 911 attacks were planned by the government, and the existence of secret societies aiming to control the world. The term, conspiracy theory, itself has various origins, such as its use in the 19th century or its first use in the New York Times in 1964. Regardless, it has existed for a long time. It became prominent on social media after the COVID-19 virus spread worldwide. The increase in these theories led to research into why people believe in them and what kind of people are prone to believe them. From here, I'll discuss the trends discovered in these studies. There are several reasons why people believe in conspiracy theories, including a trait called schizotypy and low critical thinking skills. I'll introduce each of these. First, you may not have heard of schizotypy before, but it is a term used in psychology. Associate Professor of Psychology at Union College, Joshua Hart, analyzed the personalities of people who believe in conspiracy theories and reported that schizotypy is likely at play. Schizotypy refers to a tendency towards schizophrenia. But it's important to note that this does not mean the person has schizophrenia. It's just one of the factors that form a person's personality. People with high schizotypy tend not to trust others, hold biased ideologies, and have unique perceptions. Specific tendencies observed in studies include constantly worrying that the world is dangerous, linking various signs to global chaos, and interpreting meaningless text as having deep significance. Additionally, they tend to see intentions in randomly moving triangles on a computer monitor, indicating a strong tendency to infer meaning and motives that others do not consider. Next, let's talk about critical thinking. People who believe in conspiracy theories tend to have low critical thinking skills. Critical thinking involves examining things and information from multiple perspectives and understanding them logically and objectively. Rather than accepting them in critically, this research was conducted by Anthony Lanchon at the University of Paris Nanterre. His team tested 38 students on their critical thinking skills, followed by their perceptions of conspiracy theories. To see how they self-assess their critical thinking, the results showed that those who believed in conspiracy theories scored lower on critical thinking tests. This research is supported by other studies as well. Research by Emeritus Professor of Psychology at Middlebury College and Professor of Psychology at the University of Southern California found that people who advocate conspiracy theories tend to have confirmation bias and think in binary terms of right and wrong. These findings illustrate the tendencies of people who believe in conspiracy theories. But there are other factors as well. For example, paranoia, also known as delusional disorder, strongly influences anxiety and fear leading to the belief that others are constantly criticizing oneself. There's also a tendency towards narcissism, which involves self-love. Additionally, attachment disorders and cognitive distortions like apophenia can be factors. Apophenia involves perceiving patterns or connections in random or meaningless information. These psychological findings highlight the reasons why people believe in conspiracy theories. Let's now discuss a study by a group of researchers led by professors from the University of Tokyo, who analyzed anti-vaccine tweets during the COVID-19 pandemic. They categorized tweets into pro-vaccine, 
anti-vaccine, and critical of vaccine policies. Analyzing the accounts that posted anti-vaccine tweets, the analysis revealed that people who opposed vaccines before the pandemic were highly politically engaged and connected to liberal parties. While those who became anti-vaccine during the pandemic had low political engagement but high interest in conspiracy theories, spirituality, alternative medicine, and natural foods. Interestingly, the profiles of accounts following many anti-vaccine posts frequently included keywords like politics, the Japanese Communist Party, anti-nuclear movements, peace, and more. Additionally, keywords like gang stalking, technology crimes, vibrations, the universe, and spirituality were common. This study suggests that while conspiracy theories and spirituality may not always have direct political significance, they can lead people to adopt anti-vaccine beliefs. However, this study was based on observing tweets and did not rigorously examine causality. Further research combining social surveys and experiments is needed for more detailed understanding. In conclusion, conspiracy theories appeal to the human brain. Especially in stressful and uncertain times, the environment can make conspiracy theories attractive. To address this, it is important to acknowledge one's anxiety while comparing and scrutinizing facts, and using useful knowledge to cope with uncertainty. Recognizing that both others and oneself might approach science and information with incorrect assumptions can help in critically evaluating new information and avoiding preconceived conclusions. How did you find this discussion on conspiracy theories and psychology? It's essential to investigate and think about things from various angles. The discussion today wasn't about criticizing those who believe in conspiracy theories, but introducing actual research findings. Even though some might think these findings are manipulated, understanding them can help when gathering information yourself. There are certainly real conspiracies in history and reality, and many things the general public is unaware of. Reality often lies in the gray areas rather than in clear binaries. The instability of society is real, and believing in conspiracy theories might stem from a desire to identify the source of evil and feel secure. Or from a sense of justice. Believing in conspiracy theories isn't necessarily bad. It's good to think critically based on the information gathered. However, becoming too obsessed and letting it disrupt your life isn't helpful. So, examine various information thoroughly and integrate it into your own beliefs. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insightful content. Take care and see you in the next video. Goodbye.